the artist has done a great job here, but she's copied a fake. She's perpetuated the yeah. fake. Well, sometimes people get their, their back up, uh, up against things like that, you know what I mean? Which is understandable. Aboriginal people have been screwed over in this country by, by um, academics for as long as they've been engaging with Aboriginal people. So they're not going to listen always to, to academics telling them things, you know what I mean? But, you know, unfortunately, it is. Come, we'll come down around this way. And what are your totems, Darren? I'm, I'm a crow. My, um, my kin group is Wellington um, Bidgeon, that's what Wellington is, used to be called, and um, my kin group's a by wagon, so it's a, a, the eagle and the crow, and, and I'm a crow. So, yeah, I'm related to crows, which is, um, which is blessed, I, I reckon. Bloody cunning creatures. Yeah. Well, I was told a story, um, oral tradition story to me that about the, um, the magpie and the crow and um, the magpie and crows used to be great friends and um, you know what's really funny Renee she's Bradbury as well and she's from down south and you know what her totem is the magpie <laughs> anyway crows and magpies used to be good friends but they're always trying to outdo each other they're always trying to you know be the quickest to the thing and they're trying to trick each other all the time and one of the other animals said to me, how about you just settle this now and see who can fly up to the sun, right? So they went, sweet, let's do it. So they went, took off. And, and you got to remember back in, in you know, dreaming stories, the crows and magpies didn't have to burn up and black and white all over, right? And that's why magpies are black and white. And crows, you know, crows are smart. <clears throat> they're, they're, they're smart beyond our understanding, really. And the crow knew that it was mind over matter. If he could just put up with a little bit more, he can win. And he didn't just want to win. He wanted to win well. So he flew up, noticed that the magpie had flown back down, flew up a little bit more, and then he come back down. And when he landed back down to earth, he was burnt black. And that's why crows are black. So whenever you see a magpie and a crow, always remember who's the smartest animal. Yeah. But that's it, yeah, that's, that's an old top. Yeah, you can see the salt coming in here. But all along here, when it does come through, the bits where people walk on the edges a little bit, that's where it all starts to die off first. And the harbour too, I'm seeing stingrays in here. Yeah, you see big schools of the garfish and stuff in here. Come down here really early in the morning, you can see rockier in here, like water rats still live around here, which is cool. And water rats, you can always tell them because they've got white tails. Big long white tails they got, it's weird. All of them have them. There's another copy of the car in here. This is one that you can find up on my beach.